Skip Bayless's rise to fame began way back in the middle 1970s when he was a columnist for the LA Times. And that's really how his maniacal passion for sports really began. When Skip and Shannon Undisputed launched in 2016, Skip's career took full force as for the first time in his long career. He earned the face of a national live TV sports debate show and has since taken his career to new heights. Before his wildly successful career in sports, Skip, although he rarely brings up the subject, came up through a turbulent childhood and to two unwilling parents that he said he was blessed to have. Skip never had much of any relationship with his parents. The only thing he recalled was getting the nickname Skip from his father. His father, who Skip once told a story about saying when he got mad, which was often, he hit me in the face with his open right hand, always making sure he caught me in the cheek or lip or eye with his wedding ring, which would leave a bruise or welt or a little taste of blood. He was nothing but a coward of a bully, which all makes his career so fascinating to really uncover. In spite of abusive parents serving him little to no guidance, Skip to this day uses it as fuel that brings out the spirited and merciless television personality we often see on our TV screens. A personality that Skip describes as a natural born fighter. As moving as Skip's story is, it's really his hot takes and rage inspiring remarks he makes on TV about some of the biggest athletes in the world. Namely, one LeBron James. Skip's calling card throughout his career has been his takes on LeBron, to the point where even LeBron's NBA peers have called out Skip for his harsh critiques of LeBron. One of LeBron's fiercest rivals, Draymond Green, once said, You've attached your name to a black man all these years. You try to tear him down. Whether it's fair or foul, it's a huge entertainment that in part really helps Skip make a small fortune. More on that later. Career Skip credits cold pizza, now known as First Take, for helping him curate his inane daily routine that helps him, as he likes to say, dominate the debate desk. Skip recounts having to wake up at 5 a.m. daily to do the show on ESPN when it was done in New York. And he stayed the course throughout all his years, even now living in Los Angeles, which is of course three hours behind East Coast time. He said, every clock in the house is on East Coast time because I try to trick my mind into thinking it's really 5 o'clock when it's 2 o'clock. Yeah, this psychopath really wakes up at 2 a.m. every single day of the week to work out and get ready for the show. Skip began his rise to TV stardom back in 2003 when he was the star of the debate show known as Cold Pizza. But after just three seasons, the show rebranded as what we know today as ESPN's flagship show First Take. But it wasn't until 2012 that ESPN decided that the pairing of Stephen A. Smith and Skip is an entertainment match made in heaven. First Take's ratings blew up starting in 2012 when Skip and Stephen A. shared the floor on live television daily. Skip really became a TV superstar during the years he was on First Take. And that's when Skip became notorious for criticizing players who didn't have the clutch gene in basketball and lauded players who were clutch, which predictably started a firestorm among fans and viewers and helped Skip become arguably the most recognizable name in all of sports media. Come 2016, Skip's already prosperous career leveled up. He was met with the opportunity to become the face of Fox Sports and Fame Debate Show Undisputed that first aired in September 2016. Now with his latest partner in crime, Shannon Sharp. The camaraderie of Skip and Shannon has developed over the years and has given us wild entertainment and has dazzled in the television rankings. So much so that Undisputed tallied a greater viewership in the show's first year than Skip's former show first take. Skip has recently started his own podcast known as The Skip Bayless Show, where he gives his unfiltered, unmitigated opinions and insights that he says he doesn't get a chance to say or speak about live on Undisputed. It's an idea that Skip got after several of his Skip Rides the Troller Coaster episodes earned lots of attention because, hey, he's Skip and everyone wants to know more about his psycho mentality. Contracts Although it isn't clear how much money Skip was offered when he first signed with ESPN to do Cold Pizza and then Cold Take, a few years back, he gave us a little bit of insight as to what he thought about his early contracts. When the topic of Skip's contracts at ESPN was broached in an earlier interview, Skip said, quick point of order, I did not make a ton of money at ESPN. By what I was giving them, I was poorly paid. I was the most underpaid on-air talent at ESPN for 12 years. That's my opinion. Not in the end, they did come around, but that went on for a long time. Fast forward to 2016 when Skip's contract at ESPN was up. 
The network reportedly pushed to bring Skip back and to continue the highly successful TV partnership that he had with Stephen A. But he thought that the opportunity was calling elsewhere and, well, more money. Fox Sports did ESPN one better by putting a four-year, roughly $20 million offer sheet at the feet of Skip, which he gracefully accepted. When Skip's contract expired in September 2020, Fox Sports cut him an even bigger check, this time another four-year deal worth north of $32 million. But it was actually during this time that another story was brewing behind the scenes. ESPN was reportedly trying to get Skip to come back to the network to relink with Stephen A. and offered a contract reportedly worth in the range of six to seven million annually. The plan was for the two of them to do a program on ESPN Plus in order to help the platform launch in the public eye. We don't exactly know how Skip felt about all of this, but Stephen A. reportedly made a strong push to have Skip brought back. Of course, that never happened despite discussions over the course of several months. But hey, with the level of showmanship Skip has shown on TV all of these years, who's to rule out a future reunion between the ex-co-stars? Diet and Fitness as much as Skip is a crusader for his words on TV, he is also known for maintaining his fitness, even now into his 70s. Skip once revealed that in all his years covering and debating sports, he's missed a cardio session just once, back in 1998. Even with 2 a.m. wake-ups, Skip gets on his treadmill every day for one hour so he can prepare to debate Shannon Sharp. His dedication to fitness extends as far as icing his knees before bed each night to keep his joints conditioned. And speaking of going to bed, Skip says he's lucky if he gets to sleep more than three hours every night. He arrives at the Undisputed set at 4 a.m. The show doesn't even start until 6.30. Broccoli is the world's most perfect food. I think you know where we're headed with this. Green vegetables, grilled chicken, on repeat. Hey, at least he gets his one slice of pizza he and his wife share every Friday. Is there anyone that rivals Skip's devotion to health and fitness? Talk about dedication. Cars. Don't think that Skip's intense lifestyle doesn't call for any fun because Skip loves fast cars. In 2019, Skip bought the Corvette ZR1 after going years trying to find the make and color of the car he wanted. 755 horsepower, seven speed stick shift. Trust me, it's one badass automobile. Skip has his number of fast cars, that's for certain. Talk about living in the fast lane. Love life. After meeting her on the set of First Take years ago, Skip recounts how he and his wife Ernestine met in the sort of unusual way they did. Skip and Ernestine Bayless got married in 2016 and Skip describes his wife as a goat and says he's thankful for how Ernestine puts up with his often raucous ways of living. Even when Skip told her that you will always be second to my career, she accepted his ambitions and has continued to grow a strong relationship with him, which is a huge testament to Ernestine if you think about it. I mean, she even wrote a book on what it's like living with a maniac like Skip. Seriously. It is called Balls. How to keep your relationship alive when you live with a sports-obsessed guy. Props to you, Ernestine, for living with a nutty guy like Skip. Six years later, their relationship remains intact. And Ernestine even made an appearance on Undisputed, which Skip calls one of his favorite moments of his career. His career is the stuff of legends. Some of his hot takes call for some brutal criticism to skip from viewers and listeners. But that lifestyle you can't help but respect. Net worth. And now the moment you've all been waiting for, how much is Skip Bayless worth? With everything going on in Skip's life, he has a net worth of around $17 million. Big time baller in the house. Talking about sports can really pay off. 